So today we're going to be checking out a brand new van mod here in Beam and G Drive and folks I must say I am rather impressed by this thing. We're going to be running from the police, we're going to be the police, and we're going to crash a lot in this episode. So be sure to stay tuned until the end, hit that thumbs up button, and let's jump in. So here it is, the perfect bank robbery van. I mean, uh, the, the perfect van to get your cargo uh, where you need to go because this is the Gavril Scout. Uh, this is the thing that you didn't know you needed in Beam and G until you see it now. And folks, check this out. We have sliding doors. Uh, also, there's a lot of empty area here for money bags. So yeah, this is a new mod out by Lucas BE, and I must say, this is like dev quality stuff here. Uh, lots of really cool configurations that we're gonna check out, including a police car version, and there's some like really like souped up versions of this van. So we should probably just climb in. Let's go ahead and open the door. Uh, show you guys the interior because I must say, this is impressive. I like the little tablet screen uh, in the middle here. Uh, you get like a nice little digital, well, half digital dash. And yeah, uh, just overall quality wise, this is cool. So uh, let's go ahead and go into first gear here. Uh, you have like a little moving gear shifter, which is kind of nice too. And yeah, there's not a whole lot to say as far as like what it is. I mean, it's a European van. It's just like the car, it's, it's kind of like the thing that was missing. Like, of course you've got uh, the normal like American van, like the big beefy one, but uh, this is like a little bit more smaller. Wait, am I already? Wait, the police are pursuing me. What did I even do? Uh, I haven't robbed any banks yet. But yeah, I really like the style of this van. Uh, we're in one of the lower tier. Actually, this might be the lowest tier model. So I don't expect a whole lot of speed, but there are some performance packages uh, in here. Also, for people that like to, I guess, kind of like role play in this game, there's a lot of like different work vans uh, that are really cool. We'll go over the configurations here in a minute. But, you know what, we're going to say that we just robbed a bank. We probably would have picked one of the more performance heavy ones. But yeah, we robbed the bank. We must get away from the police here. Okay, this feels straight out of a movie. Like, I feel like we could, like, lose the police here in the dock area. Uh, let's see how this thing does uh, with curbs here. And, ooh, okay. Uh, didn't blow out tires, so that's a start. Oh, look behind us. Where are the cops at? I like how this just started immediately. Like, I was going to, like, do, like, a nice, calm little review, little drive around, and the, the cops immediately decided that they wanted to pull me over. Okay, I think we found a good area to stop. Uh, this would be probably where we'd have, like, another vehicle to switch the money out. Wait, those sirens are getting close, aren't they? Nope. I think we're good. Well, before we get into any more pursuits, probably should check out some other versions of this. Now, I will say this is a paid mod. Uh, it is right around $4 uh, here in the U.S., but look at what you get here. Uh, it is really, really awesome. There's, like, several different passenger uh, variants. You got, like, a cargo roadside assistance, delivery vans, a police van, uh, just a lot of really cool stuff. Now, I feel like if we're going to do police chases here at the beginning... We should probably get the souped up one here. So this is the Cargo 350RS. It's a limited edition model with the retuned four cylinder Petro engine. So see, this is what I'm talking about. This is performance. It looks like it has the same interior. I think some of the other models don't either don't have the tablet or they're a little bit changed up. Uh, this one's got like a little cargo area in the back. This is not the passenger model, but I believe this one has dual sliding doors. Yes, it does. Yeah, you just deleted the seats. <laughs> You gotta get all that performance. So yeah, it's got sticky tires. You got uh, definitely upgraded brakes. Let's see what kind of performance this thing actually has. And dude, it sounds so good. What the heck? You know, I don't think I've ever heard a van that like has like burbles. Like we did, it backfires and everything when you let off. Uh, that's actually kind of cool. Okay, I feel like definitely we could actually legit get away from the police in this thing. Like. You don't even realize you're driving a van, how nimble this is. Uh, this is nice. I mean, if I take a corner too fast, I feel like I might tip over, but... Hold on, let's turn off that traction control. I feel like it's really limiting me right now. Alright, so turn that all the way off. There we go. Alright, let's see if this thing turns into a bit of a slidey boy here. The cops are after us. I'm gonna say our escape point uh, is going to be... We'll call it the, the towers uh, that we normally get to. A little radio towers, so let's go ahead and speed past the cops here. Oh my goodness, he almost turned into us. Lots of traffic spawned in here today. Man, this handles really good. Like, I feel like I'm in, like, a car, like a sports car. Uh, this is, it should be, like, illegal. Like, this feels really, really awesome. All right, so there's our objective right there. Looks at like the cops. Uh-oh. Uh, they have the bridge blocked off. Hold on, let's go this way. 
Uh, we might have to go up and over. Hold on, look behind us. All right, there's a charger turning on this road. Okay, we got this. Just got to speed through, avoid... No, 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 don't turn into my lane. Uh, oh, jeez. Dude, the cops are just sitting here waiting for me. Okay, go, 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 no! <laughs> By the way, the damage model on this thing is really, really good. Uh-oh. Uh, yep, that's gonna be game over. My right front is broken. Jeez. I mean, I guess we should test out some more of the crashing. I got busted. Uh, <laughs> I definitely think this thing is capable of getting away from the police there. It was just a, kind of like a, a bad move there on my part. Uh, slid into the AI. Uh, speaking of crashes, we should probably just test it real quick. Hold on, let's go. How about this pole here? And... Oh! Dude! It looks good. Like, I have no complaints as far as, like, it doesn't look wonky when it crashes. You know, you get sometimes you get, like, weird mods uh, when you smash into something. Like, you get the no texture on the windows, or it just looks really weird. Like, this legit feels like... Uh, it could be a dev level car here. Okay, cops are back after us. I've got a new strategy here. We're gonna head up to the highway and see how fast we can get down it. I don't know what the top speed on this thing is. Probably not ridiculous, but it's zippy. It's got really good acceleration, plus the brakes uh, on this upgraded model are really good. Uh, I don't know the weight on the van. I mean, obviously it's, it's a van, it's gonna be heavy, but it can't be as heavy as the big American van. Okay, as long as we don't have any cops right here, we can whip a 180. Oh, let's turn it around. Uh, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Uh, you're getting a little bit of wheel spin. It's not a lot. Like, you could pretty much hammer it down. Uh, you're not going to have many issues. Uh, but, yeah, this is nice. Oh, let's see how fast we can get going here. I mean, it's bad enough that a cargo van's going 100 plus on the highway. That's borderline scary. Uh, but, oh, don't turn in front of me. <laughs> that is not a good idea. So, it looks like we're going to hit 120. It's still climbing. Like, this is impressive. Uh, I'm going to guess it's going to top out around maybe 135, something like that. Uh, we got to 130, but I got to start to, well, actually it's 129. I need to let off, though. All right, let's try not to die on the bridge again. Uh, let's take the shoulder here. There we go. Zip past the, oh, jeez, he almost turned into me. Oh no, this cop is gonna, he's gonna totally do it. Okay, no, 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 no. Don't give him an opportunity to turn into me. All right, so we're in the tunnel here. Uh, let's try to get through. Like this is the ultimate like bank robbery van. Like that's the first thing I think of, how zippy it is. Like you can load up plenty of cash in here and get the heck out of there with the, uh, with the sportiness of this and, oh man, what the heck? Dude, that cop came out of nowhere. Okay, well we just blew the back doors open, probably lost the money, but they actually didn't affect the rear suspension or the tires. <laughs> like, there was a lot of junk uh, in the trunk here that actually prevented uh, it from blowing out those rears. Dude, that was cool looking. Actually, I really like the way this looks uh, with the doors hanging open. Uh, that's awesome. All right, so our road is right here. Probably lost some of the money. You know, I was hoping maybe we have some people in the back holding on to it. Uh, maybe we lost one of the other uh, robbers. Uh, that means uh, less of a split that we have to do. Uh, at the end of this. Hold on, let's go ahead and whip it around here. Oh man, this is, it's a dream. You know, I haven't taken it off-road yet. Uh, so this is a little bit of a something. You know, it feels like maybe on the on-road sections, or the off-road sections, I should say, it understeers. Uh, the back doesn't feel as, like, tail-happy. Uh, I need to check, is this thing rear-wheel or is it all-wheel? Like, it understeers quite a bit, almost as if it's like an all-wheel drive. Uh, hold on. Oh, no, no, no. What the heck? Okay, that's some weird civilian traffic. Uh, no, no, no. Don't push up against me. Here, just go by. Uh, we're just trying to get up to the top of the tower here. Uh, the acceleration and grip, though. Like, even on this dirt road. Oh, look at that. We successfully evaded the police. We won. There we go. We'll just get up to the top here. And then, uh, we'll just swap out to another van. But, man, that's cool. And like I said, it, it looks... Like, kind of sporty. Like, I like the headlight design, uh, how it kind of goes down, like, midway. So, yeah, it's got a little bit of a sporty aspect to it. Oh, we did damage the tires. Look at that. It's uh, definitely cambered. <laughs> okay, so, you know what? Let's go ahead and grab another version of this. We are going to check out the police version last. So, I'm just kind of curious. So, say we get, I don't know, the cargo work package. Is there stuff in the back of this? Oh, there's something back here. So this is Beamcom, uh, which I'm assuming is like a, I don't know, like a satellite installer. What we got back here? Uh, nothing. Okay, there's nothing in this one. You know, I 
think, is there an option to stick stuff in the back? What about the cargo road assistance one? Dude, this one's actually kind of nice. Uh, you got the overhead light there. So yeah, you can light that up, that's cool. Uh, anything in the back of this one? Uh, no, this is another empty like work van. Uh, I know there's a passenger model. I, I wanna see one with actual seats in the back. Uh, looks like not the cargo ones down here, but maybe this tracer. Oh, this is an all wheel drive. Yeah, that's a thing. Here we go. Now this would be what you wanna take the family out in. Uh, so you do have a row of seats in the back. Very spacious. So is this hatch, does this go up? Oh, it does. Dude, look at the cargo room that you have in there. Still have the sliding doors on the side. I actually really like this. I'm kind of surprised they didn't have like a van life version of this uh, with like a couch and stuff in the back. I feel like that'd be kind of cool. Uh, hold on, let's go ahead and just drive this real quick. Does it sound as sporty? No, this one's definitely toned down. I don't think the other one was an all wheel drive. Uh, I feel like this one's actually gripping a little bit better, uh, but definitely isn't as zippy. I haven't even looked. Oh, hold on, we can actually release the hood here. Uh, look for it, there it is, hood release. Uh, I haven't even looked in the engine compartment. See how detailed it is. Well, let's go to the front and pop it open. There you go. Nice bit of detail in there. Okay, let's hop back into this bad boy. What do you say we get into the police version of it? I'm kind of curious. Like, does it have the same motor maybe that the bottom tier one has? Uh, so yeah, this is the Policia. I doubt I'm even saying that right. Hold on, it's got a cage. Yep, got a cage in it. Uh, very nice. Dude, look at the uh, the paint job on there. It looks good. Hold on, let's activate it. I feel like we're on the wrong map for this, but <laughs> uh, we definitely could pull over some suspects. Uh, I'm kind of curious like what kind of speed it's got. I feel like we do need to switch maps. So I think we're going to go over uh, to Italy. That way we can uh, see where this thing probably would actually exist. <laughs> So I just now uh, figured out that you could stick stuff in the back of this thing. So there's a load, uh, you got like a water tank, kegs, wooden pallets. Let's do the uh, delivery boxes. So I'm gonna, oh, are they loose? Wait, they're actually loose in there. So if the back door were to pop, like, pop open, you would lose your boxes. That's actually kind of cool. So yeah, I figured let's go ahead and chase one of these cargo versions of it. Uh, we're here in the proper map. Let's go ahead and set this one out over here. Uh, I'm kind of fearing that it's going to be a little too fast for the police version, but you know what? We're going to test it out. Uh, so we're going to pull up behind and uh, see if we can pull over this uh, suspect here. All right, there they go. They're going to run. So yeah, this is the more natural habitat for this van. And that's why everything like uh, overseas, and when I say overseas, I'm meaning non-America, uh, or non-American, I should say, is always smaller. Because yeah, we have like big fat American roads and you look at this, this is definitely a lot tighter, but I mean, this is what it's meant for. Also, that version up there, it is zippy. Like, <laughs> I thought maybe the police version, which I feel like maybe you can do an engine swap and get the same, uh, like, upgraded parts. Because I feel like the police need it, because that van in front of us is just booking it. Uh, I don't know a good way to actually stop it. I think if we get close to it, we have to pretty much take the opportunity uh, for the pit. Because, yeah, that's not good. That thing is really getting away, and it just... It hugs the corners better than this police car does. Our police van. Okay, it's definitely gonna be a challenge. I need it to get on a little bit more windy roads where I feel like the player has the advantage opposed to the AI. Uh, but right now they are doing a spectacular job of getting away. Uh, I'm gonna see if maybe we can just outdo it a little bit. Oh man, I'm just, I'm pushing it. I'm trying to get this thing to slide around. I actually have the traction control on. Uh, I probably need to switch that off. Wait until we get on like a safe straightaway, which we're in a map that doesn't have many straightaways in it. Come on, grip, grip, give me grip. <laughs> Dude, come on. It feels like we're the same distance away from each other. I mean, I, I guess maybe it's good that I'm keeping up in something that isn't as fast, but I just don't know how we're gonna catch here. All right, let's turn off that traction control real quick. Uh, there we go. See if we can get it to slide a little bit more and uh, maybe get the back wheels to spin up a little bit. Actually, this could be one of the all-wheel drive versions. I didn't. I don't actually don't think it's said. Uh, so maybe I should assume that it's not the all-wheel drive. It could be front-wheel drive too. Uh, I'm not really sure what this van is. I need to go back and check. Uh, but which, by the way, there's a forum post uh, that kind of gives you guys some previews and more information about it. I'll link it, and then you could purchase the mod from there if it's something that you guys think you want. Oh! oh. <laughs> Okay, that's what happens when I turn off the traction control. I slid a little too much there. 
Oh no. Oh, the back end is definitely broken. Like you see the tire is just flailing back there. Okay, now they're out to the left. We're crab walking. Did we take the right turn? Oh, yep. Suspect's still up here. Hey, it turns to the left really good now. Not sure about to the right. Oh my goodness. Come on. Uh, the engine's damaged now. Uh, it's fine. Um, wait, where'd the suspect go? Uh, I think he's gonna get, wait, they might have already gotten away. Did I miss the corner where they went? What? Hold on, keep going. I feel like the suspect has evaded us. Yeah, definitely, I would probably maybe grab, oh no, they're right up there. How are we still keeping up with them somewhat? Yeah, like I said, I would probably just grab the last version, change the livery to the police car, and then put the, uh, uh, put the little light bar at the top. I feel like that would work out really good. And, oh my goodness. Uh, okay, yep. This is not a thing. I was wanting to hit the back of that to blow open its cargo doors uh, to watch all the cargo fly out, but I think all I've done is damage mine. Uh, come on. Uh, we got this. Oh, oh, I'm about to die. Yep. It is just swaying. I cannot drive straight at all. I mean, Komodo has problems driving straight anyways, but especially when you have a damaged vehicle, it makes it really impossible. It does take corners a little bit better now. It's like the uh, the whole rear being loose. It like sways out and turns better, which I guess that's an unintended consequence here. Oh my goodness, come on. Come on, they're still right there. It's like even distance. This is ridiculous. Oh, yep, we just hit it again. Yep, okay, it is definitely over for the police car. All right, we've got to upgrade one of these things because yeah, I'm having issues. Fine, nothing to see here. Totally not just changing this to the uh, police livery here. You know what? We don't even need the the light bar here. They just see this in the rear view mirror and it strikes fear in their eyes. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and turn it around. And uh, what do you say we resume this pursuit and go find our suspect? Ah, here we are. We're back. Look at that. Suspect's right in front of us. Now we're on equal footing here. So it's going to be about how I can do the takedown. Actually, they're probably at a little bit of a disadvantage. I don't know how much that cargo weighs in the back. So obviously they might be a little bit heavier. Oh yes, I see one of the boxes like hanging out the back. All right, we're gonna give him a little bump here. Oh, pretty even going down this straight, well somewhat straight away, but when we get to this corner, uh, we're gonna give him a mighty bump here. Oh, oh, here we go. And, uh, oh, and, oh, uh, here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh, that didn't do much to them, did it? Uh oh, our bumpers might be hung together. Nope, we're good. Okay. Uh, we need to try the old pit here. Which side do I pit them off, though? Uh, left side, they're gonna go down into, like, trees and down to the beach. That might be a good idea. Alright, here we go. Get in position. And there's the pit. Oh my goodness! I didn't... Oh. I did not see the guardrail there. Probably gonna get charged for murder after that. I thought I was gonna pit them off into the grass. Maybe they clip a tree. No. The guardrail was in the worst position there, but it did blow it open, and now you can see all the cargo that's falling out. Dude, the guard... Actually, I think they're okay. The guardrail hooked uh, through the engine compartment, but, you know, the driver's compartment's not in that bad of shape. I don't know if I could open the door, but... No, they're, they're probably fine. 